Hello and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. Today we will look at a complicated demo report. It consists of two essential components, the matrix and the details report. When you click one of the cells of the matrix, and another report is opened. And it shows the data that corresponds with the cell that was clicked on. This is done by passing the details report a couple of parameters. You can see those in the tabs header. Those parameters are the employee's name and the product category. Let's see how all of this works. Firstly, I will demonstrate how you can make a matrix like this one. If you want to skip to the part where I explain how interactivity in this matrix works and how can it open it up with data, you can go to the time that you are seeing on your screen. Here is the matrix in the designer. It is connected to the order details data table, which has some data relations. To the orders and products tables. And those have relations of their own, including a relation to the employees table. The order details table contains the list of sold products with their financial info unit price, quantity and the discount. And the other tables are used to group those products into orders and those orders by employees. So, in order to create a matrix like this, you have to drag and drop some fields from the data tables. The matrix should show totals for each employee by product category. So the columns will show the employee's name, which is in the orders employees. and the rows will show the category name, that is in the products categories. The cell value will be the unit price, that is in the base table. Let's disable the auto size so we can resize the matrix ourselves. So let's take a look at the matrix that we just configured. This is a matrix that functions, but needs work. To get this from this, you have to tweak some things. Set the fonts, formats, and the fill for the matrix. Edit this expression to display the full name. This to display the correct total that counts the quantity and the discount. Put a couple of picture objects to display images. and also something else. As you may have noticed, this matrix highlights its cells when the mouse hovers above them. It is done through the script. The cell has its mouse events handled. So, we can set up what happens when the mouse hovers above the cell and when it leaves it, and also when any other defined events happen. Let's look at the code. I won't get into details, but this is what happens. The fill is getting changed to grey when the mouse leaves the cell, and to orange when the mouse is over the cell. Let's see what happens if we change the cell's fill. You can see that the highlight script applies only to the cell and not to the totals, to show that only the cell is clickable. So what happens when we click the cell? The cell has a hyperlink setup. It calls another report with parameters, and that report filters its data accordingly.
the values that it passes are the text of its column and the text of its row. The report we are calling is stored in the demo reports folder of the first report installation. The matrix passes a parameter that has two nested parameters. And this is how you can create a nested parameter. Now let's take a look at how the report filters its data. Since we are passing the full name to the report, but it's stored separately in the data table, as a first name and a family name, we have to do this. We are comparing the name that we get from the base report and the name that we get by joining names from the data table together. And we are also comparing the category. So, when the filter is configured this way, the details report will display the data that we need. So now you know how to create a matrix report with interactivity. This was today's lesson on the fastreport.net. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. In the description you can find a link to the list of articles on fastreport that are sorted by tags.